What up, what up, Wheat Field? What up, y'all? Sweet, what it do? Welcome back to the Wheat Field, y'all. Welcome, welcome to you. If you're new, hey, welcome to you too. This is your girl, Lati, here at Tears and Wheat Tarot Show, where you show enough, never know what you're gonna get, beloved. We went to a can't say, what is it? Reggae, Damien, and uh. Steve and Marley concert. It was super fun, beloved. We uh, did some lives on Facebook and posted a lot of footage. And, and we had a good time. After that, we went to the bar and we had an experience. It was, it was really weird, beloved. Okay, so it was crowded because it was somebody's birthday. And so we found a seat and we asked, you know, is anybody sitting here? They say, no, okay, well, we put our coat, go to the bar to get a drink and order a burger because we needed something to eat. And this bar has good bar food, beloved. Why we come back and it's this chick sitting on our coat? Excuse me, beloved. You sitting on my shit. She leans up like I'm supposed to just grab my coat. I said, no, no, no. That's my seat. Oh, well, you should have just said that. I did just say that. What the fuck do you mean? I should have just said that. We was trying to, you know, because we didn't want to get into a whole bar fight with this chick and her whole fucking family because it's somebody's birthday and she wanted to be rude as shit. So we was trying to hold it back. She got the point, the fuck up out of my seat and off my shit. But I was just wondering like, what the fuck is wrong with people these days where you would even do that? You see my coat on this seat. Why would you sit your ass on somebody else's fucking coat, bitch? Like, why? Are we at that point in these days in society where motherfuckers just are that goddamn rude? We, like, I was mind boggled. Like, the fuck do you gonna lean up? Like, I'm supposed to just grab my coat and keep the fuck? No, bitch, get the fuck up off my coat. Get out of my seat, first of all. Like, I wish a motherfucker would be in my seat. See, yeah. It was once upon a time where we just show nothing been fighting. But the most high God is working with us. Well, we didn't even go there. We was just like, just get the fuck up. Like I was confused. I was perplexed. Like, are we really doing this? You see my coat on this shit. Like, how would you feel? And somebody just sat their ass on your shit. And this must be a thing. Because this is the second time it happened. The first time I was in a church. In somebody's church. A worship center. You see my coat on this chair. Why would you sit your ass on it? Why? Beloved, I don't get it. Is putting your coat on a chair not the signal to hold your seat like somebody's sitting here, beloved? This is my seat. Find you another seat. I don't understand it, we. It really had me like, okay. We're going to have to take the heels off. But we didn't want to do all of that. You know, we didn't. We done been there too many times in the past. Fighting for no reason in the bar tearing shit up. We on the spiritual awakening to what? We on the journey. We doing some different stuff. We focusing on some different things. And you go out there in the world and you run into these people, these folks. Whew. Pull y'all out your square. You don't know what to do. Woo! I just said, you know what? 
I'm not finna argue with you. You up out my seat. You off of my shit. And I'm just not even finna go there with you. I just had me a, a drink. I ate a burger. And I tried to forget about it. I did. And guess what happened? One of they people come over. He got a whole wedding ring on. Whole wedding ring on. Want to talk to me about, you cute. You just so cute. You just so beautiful. You ain't like none of these people in here. I know. I know. I'm not in here twerking this fucking sexy red. Not no offense to those who like sexy red. She just ain't my bag. Need nobody to, need to tell nobody what color my asshole is and all that shit. Like, you know what I mean? I'm from a different breed. I'm from a different generation, beloved. We got some sort of class, some sort of tact about us. I mean, we was raunchy and they had some shit, but damn it, it was a limit. What the fuck is this going on? Living the dream. Whew. We are. We do. We did. We are. We is. Living the dream, beloved. You know what I mean? The dreams of our dreams, you know? And it may not be somebody else's dreams, but it's our dreams. We live in it. I'm just saying. These is my testimonies. We are hugging you. Thank you to the most high God. Outranker. You outranking some shit. You know, all them raggedy ass. Um, thank you to the most high God. We shall not categorize for every pixel and piece of creation is a part of you. And we shall not because we cannot. We cannot. You know, it's going to do what it's going to do. You going to do what you going to do. And, you know, stand up. We see rings. We see, yeah, that person definitely had on a ring. They did. They had on a ring. And we had to tell them, like, you not available, bro. You not. How are you telling me about your kids with your wife? And I'm t you talking about trying to meet me up here and... How long I've been growing my hair and can I do, I cannot do your son hair. I'm not doing your son hair, sir. I'm, I'm not meeting you nowhere, sir. You can't have my number, sir. No. You got a ring on that says you belong to somebody else. Like you took vows. You need to honor that. I'm going to honor it. I'm a, I'm a supporter of marriage and committed relationships. You got that on, that's a symbol that says that you are committed to somebody else, which means you are off limits to me, period. I don't take a half of a person, three quarters, none of that shit. If you ain't are not fully available, I don't want it. I'm just saying. And the same thing for you. If you a person is not fully available, I would say pause on that persons need time to heal beloved they come out of relationship want to jump into the next thing you ain't transmuted the energy of the last thing you still carrying around like bag after bag after bag just moving from relationship to situationship back to relationships and other situationships and bringing people other folks into your shit fuck that man D look deal with your shit Get to good with it. And then open yourself up so that you can have some real shit. I'm just saying. Y'all ever been through that? Somebody want to bring you in the middle of their bullshit? I done been in it. I done did it. It don't work out well, beloved. It just don't. I'm just saying. It don't work out. Most of the time, it may look. If your shit worked out, you're probably the outlier. Okay? I'm just saying. You are not the normal you are not the 99, 98% of folks. No, you are the one on the end of the spectrum where it worked out for you. But for most folks, it don't work out like that. You. That's why most folks be into some fucked up relationships. That's why relationships is so fucked up these days. It's because folks go from relationship to situationship and they don't take no pause to heal. I like say they don't. They don't. They don't take. They don't figure out what went wrong. Where you was off. Where they was off. Why you picked that. Why you was in that. Why you. You know none of it. They just go off into some next shit because they don't want to be lonely, beloved. They don't. You are anchored. Anchored to what? The spirit, the most high God. Thank the most high God for bringing this here message. Yes. You know, 
Just foolishness. 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 Downright foolishness. How you sitting on somebody whole coat and get and you act like you got an attitude because you I say, get off my shit. Get your ass off my shit. The fuck is wrong with you? We spiritual, but look, bitch, we ain't look, I'm just saying. Okay. Enlightened in new belief system don't mean that that shit ain't simmering beneath the surface. I got news for you. Okay, but we didn't want to betray ourselves. We don't. We didn't want to cause something that would betray us. So we just. You understand the assignment. Get your ass out my seat and move on about your business. Offer you a little bit of love. Call it a day. I'm invested into what? Into myself. Into what we doing. And we're not going to let some person distract us from what we pursuing. We're not. We had a great night. It was a wonderful concert. It was. We had a beautiful time, beloved. We did. And uh, see, this King of Pentacles is showing up and change destiny, the wheel. You know, when things change, I feel like it's somebody that's going to come in. The right timing, divine timing. We see lost and we see the truth. Somebody might feel lost and left out. You know, the truth is, I hear, truth is, I never got over you. Wish I was standing in his shoes. When it's all said and done, I guess I'm still in love with you. Truth is, I never should have let you go. It's killing me because now I know. Yeah, somebody feel like that. They see you as the empress and they definitely got some strong feelings or your block on this person is strong as shit. Like, you cannot pass, beloved. Holding all my love to myself. Tower, Queen of Cups energy. Divine inspiration to a King of Cups energy. This person can now see who you were to them and they probably want to offer something to you. But they probably they could have offered their love to a third party. See what I'm saying? Like, oh boy, with a whole fucking ring on, want to keep propositioning me. When can I, if I come back up here on such and such day, will I run back into you? I don't know when the fuck I'm going to be here. I, I come here after I go skating. That's about as much as I can say. You can't have my number. No. Nope. I'm not giving you nothing, nothing, nothing. Why? Because you got a whole fucking ring on. Six of cups to the two of cups. You definitely got a past person that's thinking about you. They see you. You look good, too. You look good. Shit. They don't know what to do with you. I'm just saying. You working on your shit or this king of, this king of swords is working on their shit. You know. Somebody working. Working on learning something. Nope. They working on something. They might be in their head, you know, learning some shit. Who? This King of Swords that we just said. King of Swords, King of Cups. So this could be two different energies. Two different energies. Shit. Cycle complete. You might be getting ready to run against two new people. Somebody is definitely single. And you working in silence. You probably not talking to nobody really beloved. Such as our hermit in isolation. You know, you might get a lot of attention with the six and wives, you know, it's successful, you know, but you might be lonely with the five of cups, you know, you might be feeling like, you know, my shit done spilled out and, you know, I'm left out or relationships don't work out, something like that, you know what I mean? But I feel like the spirit is saying, be patient. Like, it's something coming on the horizon. If you're a queen of wands energy, then it's definitely a king of wands coming. Somebody that you match with. Or this could just be another person that's lustful, beloved. You know, because you look good. 
an opportunist. It could be, but it could be also an opportunity for the real thing, for what's just, what's balanced. You know what I mean? Karma, dharma. Somebody is definitely having a sense of anxiety, you know, over whether or not you're actually going to meet the right person, beloved. Like, are they going to come along? Is it going to be good? You know, are my standards too high? They not too high. They not. Why? Because you want a whole person. You want somebody that ain't involved in somebody else. You want somebody that got some ambition, somebody that got some ethics, some honesty. You know what I mean? Like, somebody that's about something they have some goals in their life you know what i mean like what the fuck release judgment ten of cups i feel like the judgment is for you to have a ten of cups you know what i mean you may have released something though you know ten of cups energy to the judgment or judgment clarified by the ten of cups we see the page of cups. This could be somebody apologizing to you or, you know, somebody that's younger than you that wants to offer you some love. You may be in competition or they may feel like they're in competition for you. You may be wish fulfillment to them. You know what I mean? Like, shit, how the fuck do I win them, right? Ace of cups of love. And they need to be sitting up there playing and trying to figure out how do I get to you. You know what I mean? Studying and learning your every move. Trying to figure out how do they work. Could be somebody that you work with or that you know that you've collaborated with before. Somebody that's carrying a lot of shit or they're going to help you manage the stress in your workload, beloved. It could. We don't know. Anything else in here? No. Whatever it is, they're coming in fast. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Quick, fast, in a hurry. This is going to be quick, fast, in a hurry. This is just like, you know, the chariot is moving somebody forward. Maybe the spirit is working things out. We're not really for sure uh, what's going to happen. But, you know, this is us breaking down the energy after the concert, our after concert activities. See, King of Wands. This person showed right back up again. I hear lustful. You know, somebody that has a strong sense of lust, they courageous and they bold too. They're ready to take some action. Give you some action, get some action, whatever the case may be. Maybe they not get no action. But they definitely run up across you a queen of swords energy like block on tough. Like absolutely not beloved. Cannot. We not doing that. Just not. Been there, done that. No. Not doing it. Not doing it. You're not coming in with some smooth talking shit. Want to wave around your stick that's all on fire, beloved. And with your smoldering ass and all that shit. I'm protected. Bubble. You can't get, you not, no. You're not getting into the inner circle. you just not. It's not going to happen. See, this person will probably put you under an illusion. You know, try to have you go against your own beliefs or distort your belief system. You know, but I feel like they were really, their illusions would be matched up against your belief system. And your belief system is too strong. You're a high priestess. You already know the game. And you really don't even have to say shit, you know. And you may not be accepting any other cups and being discontent with the bullshit. Like, it ain't shit but bullshit. It ain't shit but bullshit. It's like... Dude, really? High Priestess Energy. She knows the secrets to manifesting. You don't have to do a whole lot. You just put yourself in the presence thereof and you will attract, right? Your bubble, your resonance, your electromagnetic field is going to repel the things that don't belong and allow the things that do. It's always going to lead you to calmer waters, beloved. 
tower and betrayal is here. See, you done been through it before in the past with this heartbreak, like I said in the past, Six of Cups, being tied up in some bullshit. You know you look good. And therefore, I mean, like, you're awakened to it. You understand that you don't have to do a whole lot to attract some shit. But you also learn the lessons of dibbling your toe in the bullshit, chaos, and conflict. Like, we not doing that shit no more. Absolutely not. I'd rather just wait for the real because that's what's worth the wait. You know what I mean? It's worth the wait. Like I said, we would just rather wait for the real because it's worth the wait. Why would I waste time and energy in some shit that don't belong to me? That can't belong to me. You can't commit. I ain't somebody's toy, something for you to play with. This shit is not even no motherfucking hard choice, beloved. It's just not. That shit is real fuck easy. Ring says no, beloved. And I respect that shit because when it's mine, my hubby, I don't want nobody fucking with my shit. I can't keep a motherfucker that don't want to be kept. You got to keep your own damn self. That means that you need to be committed and loyal and dedicated. You can't be out here just juggling motherfuckers because you feel like it. Because they done caught your eye or some shit. That shit is bananas to me. I'd rather stay motherfucking single and buy my goddamn self. I mean, that's the shit that make people stay single. Why you feel like you can't trust a motherfucker? Because you go out there and you see folks do it all the goddamn time. What's to make you want to trust a person when you don't know if they lying? They own bullshit. Like straight trash, beloved. Like garbage day. Like this shit is full. Like need a laxative or enema or some shit. Like a colonoscopy. Like clean that shit out because you so full of it. We like who the fuck does that these days? It causes stress. All this goddamn tax toxicity. I want to say taxation. Toxicity. Third party bullshit. Folks trying to control, thinking that they the man or some shit. Like what the fuck? It definitely leaves you confusing. Confusing. Confusion. Why they in their head thinking they feelings instead of actually feeling it. News for you. Block that shit out, beloved. No. Go on about your business. Absolutely fuck not. I'm just kind of upset because it's like, yeah, I'm upset because it's like, how the fuck? Look, it ain't no hard choice. It's just not. It is not a hard choice to block out some shit that you know just ain't right for you, beloved. It's not. No. No is a whole fuck sentence. It is. No. Why? Because you got that thing on your finger. You can't do shit with me. Like, I'm a whole person. I need a whole nother week. I need somebody that can dedicate and commit themselves. And, like, and I ain't got to wait for some other shit to complete. That's why you don't get into some shit until you are ready. Like, it's okay to be with self for a minute. I'm not saying that every person is just called to singleness or that you don't want to... Uh, mate, uh, you don't want companionship, but the way this shit is working these days, it's like if you a woman in my age group, and we ain't saying what age because it ain't nobody's business, but it's like shit. This motherfucker gotta gotta damn be a goddamn senior citizen, cause the person people that's in my age group, they want the motherfucking kids that's coming straight out of high school. And that shit is fuck true. They want folks coming straight out of high school. You don't want somebody that you can be equal, equally yoked with. You don't want somebody that could just be like, you know, we could partner up on some shit. 
And if you do want to have a partner, then it's something fucking wrong with you. Like you got a whole wife in a closet or some shit. You got a 16th toe that you ain't never told nobody about or something weird like that. I don't fucking know, but the shit is weird. Like what the hell is going on these days? Illumination. Having joyous, happy families. Motherfuckers is stunted in teenage years. Beloved, this shit is immature and it's fuckery. Can we get to some awakening, like some realization on what it takes to do some real shit? He's talking about some, oh, you cook. Yes, motherfucker, I cook. Like, I know how to make, like, shit from scratch. Like, you know... Real shit. Like, yeah, we make macaroni and cheese and beans and shit from scratch. We make fucking gravy from scratch. Like, we know how to do that shit. Like, with the seasoned brown flour, you put your broth and all that shit with it. And you make gravy, beloved. Like, we real with it. Like, but you looking for this shit when you got a fucking ring on. Why are we even talking about it? Why are you still standing here? I was confused. He was stressing me out. Like, I didn't understand like, why are we still having this conversation? Probably because he felt like this. I get it. Chaos. Conflict. But I refuse to be in competition with anybody. Not for no fucking dude. You can forget about it. Hell no. Nah. I'm not competing. The only person I'm in competition with is me. That's it. The only person I'm in competition with is me. Kiss my motherfucking ass as far as that shit. And I hope they know it. I told him. He didn't get it. I had to say it 17 times, but he understood it. He had tried to walk me out. No, bro, I'm gone. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, but no. And y'all, they wonder why women be like, no. But then you can't be like that because then niggas are fucking around to kill you because you said no, beloved. Like, shit, you can't take rejection. Like, you can't take the fact that a bitch said no. Like, what the fuck is going on in these days? Motherfucker sat on my coat looking at me like I'm the one that's being rude. Bitch, you sat on my shit. The fuck is wrong with y'all? I don't understand it. Stand your ground. Stand on business. Stand on principles and what the fuck we know is really right. The world is going crazy, beloved. And I mean, we was just trying to have a good night. Just saying. Anything else in here? Spirit said no. Anything else we can get? Yes. Get some tea. Who we getting tea on? I don't know. Let's just find out what's going on. How many cards? One. Folks is crazy. It really is. Like, 2024. And I was thinking to myself, in six years, it'll be 2030, at least by the calendar, an offer. Somebody's going to get an offer coming in. I got a fucking offer tonight, a couple of them. Somebody offered, you know. One of them could have been like, we about to scrap in the bar. About to take my heels off. You know what I mean? We too cute for that. We was dressed. Why? Then another one was salacious. You want me to fucking do what, bitch? With your whole wife on the side? He talking about some she might like you too? No, no. See, now you're doing too much. You're doing way too much. No. Did he just say she might like you too? That shit was creative. Was it? That was creative. She might like you too. No, nigga, I don't want you or her. No, I'm about to get mixed up in y'all crazy ass bullshit. The fuck y'all got going on? Like, no. Absolutely. It's good. It is. It's a waste of time. Wasting my damn time. I don't understand what's happening. Queen rising. Queen of Wands, I feel. Stepping into your power. We see stuck. We see no changes. 
you know, wasting time again on a goddamn love triangle. <laughs> they tried to get me into they tried to get your girl in a whole love triangle. He out there soliciting people to bring them home or some shit. Like, this is the second time for the last, like, two months I've been approached by swingers. Like, what is up with that? Like, I have been, I was on the cruise, y'all know. I got approached by a couple that was a swinger. I'm like, uh... No, <laughs> that's not what we doing. Do I got like swinger potential like rolling across my phone? And nah, I'm just saying like we we not we not in them days. We not we not back there. We not doing that. I'm just saying it's weird. It's crazy out here. Like if you are single in this day, you try to meet people. <laughs> Good luck to you because. This shit is crazy. It's like I've never look. What the fuck we has happened in 2024? People are have literally lost their minds. Like literally, folks have lost their shit in 2024. Bitch, just sat on my coat. She said, she sat on my coat. I was like. I said, baby girl, you sitting on my couple. She gonna lean up like I'm supposed to get my shit. No, bitch, you in my seat. How about? <laughs> she like, you should have said that, bitch. I did. Then you heard me. You got your ass up. You got the picture. Get the fuck off my shit, okay? <laughs> Damn. Then you get approached by, I mean, like, a couple of them, but... See, this is why, this is why we stay home. This is why we do not go out, okay? This is why, this is why we don't go out. Because <laughs> people are crazy. <laughs> people are crazy. This is why we don't go out, okay? I don't know what else to say. Spirit says nothing. We probably don't went over it. Look, I'm just saying. Leave me a comment. Like, tell me your dating experience. We didn't even go out on a date. This was a self-date. We was taking self out. Concert. The Marleys. I haven't seen them in 20 years. We was excited. Like, oh my God. Coming home from the concert, we hungry. We don't want no fast food. And this bar got really good bar food. I mean, they be back there cooking. They got seasoned burgers and everything. When I say she be throwing down, I'm like, okay, we can have one get a burger it turned into a whole experience we were sitting up there like this is really interesting so we decided to come on camera and share our testimony you know what i'm saying this tarot the testimony so you know rock with your girl if you feel me you done had some weird ass dating experiences or just meeting people folks that's just like doing the motherfucking indecent proposals want to take you home to the wife and all of that shit let me know you know in the comments i would love to hear about it because it can't just be me beloved it cannot you done ran across another rude ass person like what the fuck is this shit like do we not just have common courtesy in this like 2024 like common courtesy is just out the door like we don't do that no more like, I got my coat right here. If you could just sit your ass on top of my coat, that's something different. And it's done happened to me twice. One in a church and one in a bar, beloved. That shit is two opposite ends of the goddamn spectrum. So what the fuck is up with that? That's a whole question. I'm saying let's, let's have a conversation and figure this shit out. Because, again... I'm about to stay the fuck in the house. If this is what we doing in 2024, because a girl, you know, look, we done came too far to stoop so fucking low. It took a whole lot to just be like, you got the assignment. You got your ass out of my seat. Now go on. And we just going to try to delete you from the memory, like press delete. Because no. I don't know, y'all. This shit is weird. I'm I'm seriously thinking about staying in the house for the rest of 2025. Like, 
We're gonna go skating and we're gonna bring our happy ass home. Pretty much it. Because that's the only place we can go where people just don't act weird as shit. To the next now, y'all. We love you. We do. We do. We love you. Love you just like we love us. Because we love the Alpha and Omega that made us. They kept us safe. You know what I'm saying? Kept us out of a jail cell. Or some other shit. Because they was trying to take us home, beloved. And we wasn't having it. To the next now. This one's gone. Is it gone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear it. They called us to be the infinite intelligence, breathing, word, resurrecting this day. I don't know what word to say, except for this shit was crazy. I share.